What's up guys? So today um, I'm going to be putting a relay in the Civic. So this is going to be a little different than the normal videos. I'm going to go more in depth and hopefully this should help anyone trying to put a relay in any car. It doesn't have to be a Civic. So we'll get to it. So the first thing we did was made sure to find the signal wire to the fuel pump. So on a Honda, it's like a yellow and black. I think it's black. But the other one's obviously the ground because it's a black wire. So the reason why I am installing this relay is because it's an upgraded fuel pump. It's not the factory one. I put a Walbro 450 in it and it still has the stock harness so um, since it is an upgraded fuel pump it'll draw more amperage and it'll actually if I'm maxed out it'll start to melt those wires so I'll need to use thicker gauge and that's the whole reasoning behind putting a fuel pump relay in um, the battery in this is actually in the back so my battery wire will be running from the battery under the, the carpet under the seat and I can run everything right in this area so I can mount the relay actually nearby it uh, and that way I don't have wires going everywhere um, I have 14 gauge which is safely rated to 20 amps and the relay itself is 40 amp so everything will be within spec alright so to explain the relay itself real quick before I throw it in um, first off you can get these at any automotive store they're like five bucks actually probably not even that um, so you've got four different prongs. This one at the bottom is the 12 volt constant that'll go to the battery, which I already measured out the wire. So that'll be going there, and I also have it labeled. And this wire needs an inline fuse, so there'll be a fuse on this going straight to the positive. And then over on this side is... I don't know if it'll focus. Alright, it finally focused. So this side over here is number 85 on there. It's right up top. That'll be the ground to the chassis. So I just have this. I'm going to screw it down to the body. So this one on the left hand side will be the fuel pump harness. So that yellow and black wire. So I'll connect that one in. And then this one up top will be the new 12 gauge wire going straight to the fuel pump. And that's basically it, just to sum it up. So I'm going to start by splicing into that harness, putting a connector on, and then modifying the harness itself so I can keep the ground to the fuel pump um, with the stock harness. So here is the harness. I'm going to be cutting this wire and then leaving this and I'm going to cut this plug so it can still clip in. So I'll show you guys that. ground is cut and it can still slide in theoretically yep and that leaves me enough space to put a spade connector on that from the relay all right so everything is hooked up I've got a ground just straight to the body all the other wires are in and I'm just gonna hook up the battery and then test it out and then Cody's gonna turn the key on 
So everything's working fine. I'm just gonna mount this inside there and then put the fuel door back on. And that's basically it. It's the simple way to do it. Just put the carpet back. And that's the nice thing about a wagon. <laughs> so since the fuel pump is turning on, I'm gonna start it up and make sure that it's gonna run consistently. good so anyone upgrading their fuel pump uh, I'd recommend doing a relay along with it most kits will actually come with a relay for some reason mine did not and I didn't have one on before because I don't have it turned up um, I think the max it's running is like 2% injector duty so the fuel pumps not really doing much but to prepare for the dyno uh, it's nice to have but anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys like more in-depth tutorials <laughs> let us know in the comments <laughs> and Definitely correct me because I know you guys will if I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs>